So welcome to another Backthorn tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to create uh, a fractal render with the manager coach formula. So just let's start and copy the code like this. And let's create a Backthorn object in our Octane. And delete this code as always and paste my code. So hit compile and we are ready to explore our fractal. So um, I really like this fractal is one of my favorite because you can really get uh, nice uh, st structures. And of course you can also change uh, the angles and it will look more and more organic. I recommend you to play with all these parameters. Uh, there's also a cool parameter here in the mode, which is called a bismuth. And this creates a really cool looking uh, cube like this. So I want to create a render using this way and you can change the the bound box of this cube by changing the the number here and then you see that it's not really in the center so you can change the absolute x here and you will move the offset of the fractal so let's try to find something interesting in this in this fractal something that looks like a microchip so um, I want to get more detail in there let's find the manager scale Okay, I like this one. Um, we need a material, so Octane Shader, Octane Material. Let's apply this to our Vectron. And I'm going to use a color on it. This means that this means that every iteration of the fractal will have a different color so we need a gradient for this like always octane gradient and then another gradient which is um, an OSL script and let's find another preset for this one like a rainbow and you can already see that there's different regions on the fractal with different colors so we can change that by going in our Vectron object and change the U mode and the U scale and also color on iteration and if you can find a good way to map that, uh, you can always change the, the gradient angle in our gradient script. I like this one. And maybe a ma metallic material will look better, so let's change that and some roughness and in the diffuse we have a gradient but it's not visible so let's plug that in to the specular and you have already a nice uh, result then I really like the film layer effect from Octane so let's try Let's try also that. It 
not too much maybe okay like this one and uh, let's put some light so an octane um, daylight and change the angle of our daylight which is here Right, something like that and the cool thing about this uh, way of doing fractals is that you can uh, still change all the parameters so you can change pretty much everything like the offset here and it will always uh, look good and um, never the same and of course you can loop the angles let's try this one so you can create a loop with the by changing the angle or you can animate the absolute here Or, of course, you can zoom in and just explore the fractal. Sometimes uh, you reach the limit, but for that we have uh, uh, our ray epsilon, so you can decrease that. And also increase the iteration number. So more and more detail will be in there. Let's try to change the stretch factor. And then it's really up to you to change the, the colors. Oh, something like that. I like it. And of course, you can put a camera and play with the depth of field in Octane Camera Tag Depth of Field. Something like that. Uh, you can enable your camera imager and change the, the loot. Uh, we need more samples for this it's pretty fast so we can really go hike and you can also play with the post-processing tab here just enable that and increase the bloom we can put some glare and also the daylight i want some more uh, some more power so we have more light Well, this is just uh, one way of doing uh, fractals. So this is look, this looks like more a uh, 2D version of a uh, 3D fractal, but it's a 
cool way. Uh, I like this.